first year we did racial inequalities. So we talked about the different like wealth inequalities, educational inequalities, pay gaps and things like that. And we also talked about the new Jim Crow laws. This year, my group is developing graduate posters. Each poster is about an individual topic in which we ask a research question, then we follow up on the question. A lot of us have made our own graphs, we've made our own visuals, some people are doing some really cool stuff. Samuel Du Bois Cook Center is a research center that's focused on the problem of inequality. We developed the Young Scholars Summer Research Institute for students who are rising 8th through 10th graders to actually focus on doing their own investigations of various facets of the problem of inequality. During that process, they're also going to start to develop research on something that particularly interests them or something they may want to solve. And so we really get it to be hands-off and let the student explore what is their inner desires and what they would like to solve in the world. Producing the next generation or generations of researchers, scholars, and activists, and hopefully we can motivate them to sustain that kind of interest uh, as, as they grow older. My research question is, will the middle class cease to exist inside of the next coming decades? How poverty affects the ability to learn in North Carolina. Throughout this process, students are also developing their research skills, they're, they're developing their writing skills, their presentation Many skills. While on the other hand, lighter-skinned girls are the ones with women, with a man. They're most likely not doing that type of research in high school or don't have the materials to do so. So the fact that they get um, the opportunity now um, at 14, 15, 16 years old is, is really quite wonderful. The goal of this program is that students will have opportunities to analyze different issues of equity in society and think about ways that they could remedy inequalities in society. Being able to critique newspaper articles, being able to critique reports that journalists present over any form of media, being able to critique research work that's been done by other scholars. Just because something appears in print doesn't mean it's necessarily true. You should be exposed to these sorts of things at a young age because that'll develop your character later on in life. It'll make you, I think, a better person. After I got out of the program last year, it really opened my eyes up to see, like, you know, what's going on in the world today and how it related to what I learned in the program. No matter what you do, social justice needs to be implemented in your career. It's not sufficient to engage in research activity without it actually having a public purpose. You heard, you know, kind of racist things, but you wouldn't really address it. Try to not think about it. But now my attitude is more like, you need to think about it because that's the only way anything happens. After this program, I plan on doing as much as I can, you know, to make everyone else aware around me. And hopefully they'll spread the word and they'll, you know, spread the word to everyone else. I, I really like this, this, uh, Institute, and I think that there should be more of them because social awareness is the key to social change. <laughs> <laughs>